Hey all friends, Caribly Crafty Orm here. I'm a craftsman, uh, specifically of uh, medieval weapons and armor and stuff like that. Um, in the last year, I have made almost a complete medieval armory and every single piece I've made has been out of recycled material only. Um, the sword that I have here is made out of iron and steel, all recycled, the sheath that I made to go with it, the belt, the gauntlet, everything all just random crap that I've scavenged. Um, today's piece is, is especially uh, special to me because I've tried making several toy crossbows in the past that all, you know, they look pretty cool, they work okay, but this is the first one I've ever made that actually, like, works right and doesn't misfire every other shot or um, end up where the line bounces on top of the bolt every other shot. I finally, finally figured out everything I was doing wrong. So without further ado, I'm not going to bore you guys for too long. I want to show you my work, show you how it, how it uh, does launching its bolts, and we'll uh, move on to the next one. So this is the crossbow that I made. Um, it's, uh, I said it's 100% all just recycled crap. Um, both this metal wire and these uh, black metal poles here were from a kid's pop-up tent that my kids destroyed almost instantly. Um, well, just a little bungee cord for the line. This nylon strap here is an old ratchet strap is probably the best rail I've ever used. Um, I normally use plastic. I take plastic tubes and I cut them down. Um, the plastic slides really well, but this is just, it's amazing. It slides great and it sits perfectly flat on the wood. So there's no interference with the string and it doesn't have any edges that I'm worried will catch the line and, uh, and slice it on its way down. Um, so it works like any typical crossbow. You look in there, there's a little pin down here at the bottom and that's where the line sits on. And then when you pull the trigger, you kind of pull it down a little. So it pulls that straight up and you just push that right back up and it sets that little lever back down into place. So like any other crossbow, the line goes there. And then your bolt is going to go just under the lip of that, that little spoon piece there. Um, and then, make sure I'm actually looking where I'm firing this thing. You know, safety first, right? So, point, and pull. And it's just a toy crossbow. It's not supposed to be lethal. Um, bolts, I just use wooden dowels, completely unadorned. But that's it. Thanks for indulging me, everybody.